So before I head out today, I don't know if I like my hair. Um, also, before we head out today, I decided I'm gonna eat an egg for breakfast um, just because I had one left over from last night. And I'm going to um, like the forest today. Um, so I don't think I'll have time to get food beforehand. I'll probably get food after. So I'm gonna eat this for some protein. Mmm. And hopefully it'll fill me until I get lunch. But their soft boiled eggs here are insane. You literally can get them at the convenience store. And they're perfectly soft boiled. I need to learn how to make these back at home. But they're insanely good. I don't eat boiled eggs by itself, but I'll eat this one. Mm. But I usually get these when I eat um, instant ramen for dinner. And it came in a pack of two, so that's why I had an extra one. But I love dipping these in instant ramen. It's just so, so good. Mm. That was so good. Okay, time to head to the forest. I'll catch you at my next meal. Here's the fit today. Let's head to the forest! <laughs> ah. Hello, happy Tuesday everyone. I am in Songsu area. I just came from the Seoul Forest, which was more like a park than a forest, but I think I'm gonna go back around sunset and watch the sunset there. Um, it's a nice day out, so hopefully I can finally watch my first sunset here. Um, so I'm just gonna, yeah, chill in Songsu area, probably hit up a cafe or 
to. I have no expectations to cafe hop because at this point I can't. I don't know how to cafe hop. But I got poke.、Um, I spotted this poke spot the last time I was here, so I wanted to come back and try it. And I actually haven't had like sushi or poke here.、Um, even though we're in Korea, they still have Japanese food here.、Um, so yeah, we're gonna try it. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok, so I will circle back once I make my TikTok. Just kidding, I'm shy. I'm not gonna make the TikTok, so let's try it.、Uh, I got a tuna. Mm. Mm. The tuna is really good, but it's not soft. It tastes a little like frozen. Maybe it just came out of the freezer. I don't know.、Mm. It's brown rice. I don't like brown rice, but it's still good. It's not bad. Oh, I don't like the wasabi dressing. Overall, it is okay. I don't like the brown rice、um, and the tuna. Yeah, I don't know. The tuna tastes a little. It's a little frozen. They should have dethawed it a little more.、Um, but the veggies are fresh and the flavors are good. I don't like the.、Um, Wasabi sauce that came with it, unfortunately. But overall, it's not bad. But it's not the best either. Nothing beats Hawaii poke. So this is what I get for ordering poke, not in Hawaii. Hello, we're gonna eat the rest of the meal now.
really cold. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna leave soon, but. Tebak. That means awesome, I think. Tebak. go home when it's dark on a weekday. I may regret this tomorrow. Also, I need something to eat. Probably gonna grab something from CU, per usual. We are back home and I went to 7-Eleven with the intention of eating something small but then I finally um, tried this place that's literally right next to my Airbnb um, for the first time I walk by it every single day and it says kimbap on the front so I thought all they sell is kimbap and um, to be honest kimbap is like not one of my favorite um, Korean foods out there but so I thought all they sold was kimbap and then I finally decided to translate the menu on my phone and I realized they have so much more things um, and they had a soybean paste soup which I love um, I fell in love with bean paste stews or soups when I worked at a Korean barbecue restaurant um, almost all of college and yeah it just sounded so good so I'm gonna eat this for dinner and also I have been practicing this all day Hopefully I <laughs> don't butcher it, but Jumbo Kisunida <laughs> Cheers. <gasps> oh my god. That's so good. Oh my gosh, if anyone's ever had soybean paste soup, you know how flavorful it is and it just warms your soul. And honestly, this is very refreshing than all like the noodle soups I've been eating. Um, just having like a broth and rice is so good. Chef's kiss. That is delicious. Hello everyone, good morning, long time no see. So I actually took most of this week, I would say from like the time I went to the Seoul Forest, so that was Tuesday, and today's Saturday. I didn't vlog at all from Tuesday to Saturday just cause I just wanted to take a break from vlogging and just relax. I really didn't do too much too. I was either just chilling at cafes, I even stayed home for a day and I just binged All of Us Are Dead. I just feel like I really needed to relax and recharge because I have two more weeks <laughs> left here in Korea. So I just know these next two weeks because it's going to be really sunny. The weather's going to be really nice. So I feel like I'll be out and about in this next week. And then the week after, my coworker is coming and we have a jam-packed schedule. So I was like, Okay, I'm just gonna relax this week um, just because I'm gonna be so tired by the time I leave here. So that's just an update of where I've been, but today I'm actually going to Everland. It is the um, theme park, kind of like their Disneyland here, with some girls that I met outside of the BTS concert. So that's very exciting. I should get going. Um, I messed up and I didn't buy the shuttle pass 
on time so I think I'm gonna take a taxi also I didn't vlog yesterday but I got these flowers from Nadia I met up with my friend um, Nadia for the second time she's leaving next week so we just got dinner in Hongdae and she gave me these flowers and they're so cute how do I order a taxi should I request it I should grab some food first I know this is what I wore to the Seoul forest, except for this. This is different. Um, but it's been a few days since I saw y'all, so just so you know, I wear other clothes. I made it! It's like Disneyland. It feels like Disneyland. Um, but I'm waiting for the other girls to get here. They took the shuttle bus. So thank you to the Ajishi who drove me here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here's Everland. It's so cute.
back from another long long day at Everland which was honestly so much fun I like recommend going to Everland if you like theme parks if you like Disneyland it's not Disneyland by the way um, but if you love Disneyland it gives you Disneyland vibes so I definitely recommend going um, and putting it on your like to do or to see list if you ever visit South Korea also shout out to the gals that I went with it was so much fun going with y'all we're missing Steph in this photo because she went home a little early but thanks for a great day I wanted to show the haul that I got I didn't think I would even have enough for a haul but I actually went a little crazy at the um, gift shop that they have so we're just gonna take a quick little look first off I got some headbands I also got this other panda one. I kind of like this one more, so I ended up getting two. Um, but they have a bunch of headbands that are so cute. And the best part of all, these aren't like the $50 ears that you get at Disney. These are like $10 each. So here they are. They have different animals as well. They also have um, like the ones where you press and then the ears flop. They just have so many different head pieces. I got some more, not for me, but for friends. Most of these are gifts for my friends. I had a really hard time trying to like figure out what gifts to give my friends, just because there actually is like a lot of like Korean um, things back in the US, just because there's a huge Korean community, especially in California. So I was like, oh, I'll bring back snacks, but most of the snacks that I'll bring back can be found at Korean markets. So this is why I bought a lot of souvenirs here. Um, these are cute little hair clips. And then I got a bunch of these. These are my souvenirs, but they had the cutest keychains. Basically, this is like banana milk, strawberry milk, a blue milk. It gives off like lava lamp vibes. I just think they're so cute. So I think I got like over 10 of these. I also got like one or two big version ones for myself and for some friends. I think that's it. It's literally keychains in here. So that's most of the stuff I got. And the last thing that I got is just because I didn't realize that I was going to be staying there at night and this is not warm enough. So I had to my blanket to keep myself warm but the last thing that I want to say about Everland is that not only was like the theme park just really cool I think it was so cute it was really cute seeing um, couples matching over there and also the kids the kids there are so adorable but the best part of all is 
coincidentally, BTS was having like a two, three week um, show. They weren't there, but kind of like a music video montage that they would play at night um, in addition to a fireworks show. And let me just tell you, that was the most extravagant fireworks show I have ever seen in my life. Like they were like, <laughs> they were there and oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was the best way to end the night for sure. And so even if you go to Everland and let's say the BTS show isn't there in the future, if they do have a fireworks show, you should watch it because they got the budget for some high-tech fireworks, so. I'm going to wrap up the day. I am super, super tired. I'm probably just gonna take off my makeup, take a shower, and go to sleep because it's gonna be a jam-packed last two weeks here. So sad, but I will enjoy it while I can. And I hope you can all enjoy it too, coming along with me. So thank you so much again to everyone who's been watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you like these videos. And if you do, just make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell button. Until then, see you soon.